What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So before I start today's video guys, there's a good 93% of you guys out there that are not subscribed to my channel. So please go down there, subscribe to my channel for more football content like this. And if you're a Manchester United fan, this is the place where you want to stay. I do football analysis and you will definitely enjoy this channel. If you're a United fan, you're the person. Hit that subscribe button and go and do me a bloody favour. So as you can see from the thumbnail and the title of this video guys, Yes, guys, the Premier League has been, unfortunately, been suspended for over a week now due to the coronavirus outbreak. It's obviously a very serious matter now. A lot of countries around the world are pretty much placed on lockdown. And there's obviously very limited things that you can really do now in lockdown. Got to stay at home now for the majority of the time. And the two weeks could get expanded here where I'm living in Malaysia right now. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a summary of what went down last week. So pretty much last week... I'm going to start it off by saying last Friday, the Premier League called a meeting. All the 20 clubs in the Premier League and all the clubs in, in the Championship. And they've said, you know, we're going to obviously postpone the season until April the 4th at the earliest. But obviously now there's there's a new update, obviously, with that. I'll get into that later on to this, into this video. It's not gone that way, obviously. At the end of the day, I think it was Thursday night. Thursday, Wednesday night, whenever it came through. Unfortunately, Mikel Arteta obviously got tested positive for the coronavirus. It was a total shame that he came down with the coronavirus, which meant all the players and coaching staff were placed in self-isolation and they've all been training at home and they've not managed to do much. And whoever was in contact with him had to be placed in self-isolation. But then it got passed around, you know, to several different clubs and players the likes of Callum hudson Adoy got tested positive for the coronavirus as well. It was obviously gutting to hear these two obviously got the coronavirus. It's obviously a very serious thing. People are dying from the coronavirus. There's many people that have been recovered from the uh, coronavirus. We're going to thank the NHS for this. Without them, nothing couldn't be possible at the end of the day. So it was just getting expanded, keep getting expanded. There was an Everton first team player that had to get placed in self-isolation, reported with the coronavirus symptoms, obviously. And then last week, I think Wednesday, Brendan Rodgers came out in his press conference ahead of last week's games, obviously, that got called off. He said that a few of the Leicester players had come down ill, obviously, so they just sent them home and they didn't want to obviously spread it in the uh, training centre. And then the Bournemouth goalkeeper, Arthur Borrock, if I said his name right, and four other members of the coaching staff were placed in self-isolation as well. It just kept getting worse. Uh, there was a few Watford players being tested for the coronavirus as well, the likes of Ben Foster, as we all know, ex-Manchester United player. There was three players that came down really ill. One of the players came down with a chest infection, a stomach bug, and another one came down with illness. So players hadn't been feeling well. We should be lucky enough that none of our players for Manchester United had not been tested positive for the coronavirus. Obviously, it's the right decision to be made. Obviously, they've got to think about uh, the fans, the players, the staff can't really do much about it it's a total shame that there's no football on it's the right decision to be made there's been all different sports that have been pretty much been postponed likes of tennis golf f1 it's kicking off the f1's been postponed as well i was supposed to be going to vietnam in a couple of weeks fortunately that's not happening obviously it's affected so many different sports out there boxing what's happening with the boxing right now they're postponing boxing fights right now. It's a total shame that things have to get postponed, but it's the right decision to be made. Hope you guys are safe out there. Please stay safe. Please stay at home. And now that we're placed in lockdown, many countries are placed in lockdown now, and we're very limited of what we can do now at home. So please follow the rules and regulations of what you've got to do the way how this the rest of this video is going to work is i'm going to be um pretty much answering a few questions of what should happen quite a few youtubers have done this but the first one i'm going to start with is should the premier league and efl season be abandoned now obviously i've got a few mates that are saying to me oh yeah it should be voided stuff like that because obviously then liverpool won't get the title the way how we can answer this is both sided yes and no i mean it's hard enough to pick an answer for yes it's hard because you cannot give the title to Liverpool and the teams that are in the relegation zone, like the likes of Bournemouth, Aston Villa and Norwich, and they've still got half a chance of getting out of the relegation zone because look at Norwich all of a sudden, 21 points. There's Bournemouth that are joint on 27 points with the likes of West Ham and Watford. 
So their possibility of getting out, out of the relegation zone. But Villa, two points behind Bournemouth as well. So there's still half a chance for Villa to get out as well, if they can play well. I think at the end of the day, you've got to look at the season. You cannot give the title to Liverpool. People are going to say, oh, he's a Manchester United fan. Oh, of course he's going to say that. No, it's not because of that. Really, mathematically, it's been said of how many points they need and stuff like that. So really, you cannot abandon the season. You've got to finish the season off. They want to finish the season off. Other friends of mine want the season to be voided or want the season to be abandoned or just cancel the whole thing and just get into next season. But they want to finish the season off. I think they have to at the end of the day. And uh, you've got to look at all the other teams, the likes of West Ham, Watford and Bournemouth. They're all on 27 points. It's just like, you cannot say, oh yeah, Bournemouth are going to get relegated with, by one goal difference. I think you can't do that at the end of the day. They've still got a chance, Bournemouth, of getting up and being safe. You can't really abandon the season, but that's down to, obviously, the FA of that as well. But then you've got to think about the money as well. Sky Sports want that money. You've got to think about the sponsorships as well. Obviously, paying the players as well. It's hard enough to abandon the season, and I think they've got to finish the season off and they can't really do much about that. And obviously, the Premier League have come out with a statement yesterday as well, and they said the FA, the Premier League, EFL and women's professional game together with the PFA and MLA understand we are in unprecedented times and our thoughts are with everyone affected by the COVID-19. We are united in our commitment to finding ways to of resuming 2019-20 football season and reassuring all domestic and European club league and cup matches are played as soon as it is safe and possible to do so. We have collectively supported UEFA in postponing the Euro 2020 and create space in the calendar to ensure domestic and European club league and cup matches have been increased opportunity to be played and in doing so maintain the integrity of each competition. The FA rules and regulations state that the season will shall terminate not later than the 1st of June and each competition shall within the limit laid down by the FA determine the length of its own playing season. However, the FA's board has agreed for this limit to be extended indefinitely for the 1920 season in relation to the professional football. Additionally, we have collectively agreed that the professional game in England will be further postponed until no earlier than the 30th of April. The progress of the COVID-19 remains unclear and we can reassure everyone the health and welfare of players, staff, supporters are our priority. We will continue to follow government advice and work collaboratively to keep the situation under review and explore all options available to find ways of resuming this season when the conditions allow. We would like to re-emphasise that our thoughts are with everyone affected by the COVID-19. So that's pretty much the statement that the Premier League have come out of saying at the end of the day. It's the right decision to be made. Should matches just be played behind closed doors? I think you've got to think about the players, the supporters, the staff, and you've got to think of when it's safe to play games and matches. With playing football, you need the fans in the stadium. The fans are there always cheering, chanting, pushing your team on of getting that win. And without the fans, football cannot go ahead without the fans being at the stadium, really. It's hard enough to play games behind closed doors. Obviously, to speed up the season, you would want to play games behind closed doors. But you've got to think of the situation, you know, the amount of cases in the UK that are just rising day by day. It's just going up rapidly and there's loads of deaths going on right now. Condolences to the families that are suffering right now. It's just one of those type of situations really. Do they play games behind closed doors just to speed up the whole season? I don't know, it's debatable. They're trying to think of the safety of the players, the supporters, the staff, everyone. They're trying to do what's best but it's the right decision to be made. At this day and age, I think you can't play games behind closed doors because just because of the situation we're in right now because of the numbers that are rising day by day it's just rising continuously it's not going to stop you've got to look out for the ones that have been affected i think when it's safe to play football once again that's when they'll resume but then fans are just going to get frustrated when's football going to be played it's been pushed back it's been pushed back it's been pushed back we all know at the end of the day that the football wasn't going to resume on April the 4th because it was just too early. Obviously now it's been pushed back till April 30th. So we'll see and they'll keep an eye on it as well of how things get planned out for the rest of this whole coronavirus pandemic at the end of the day. 
a heartbreak. Will Liverpool be crowned Premier League champions? Like again, people are just going to say he's a Man United fan. He's got that United top on. He's a Liverpool hater. Of course, he's not going to want Liverpool to be crowned champions. It's not about that. I think at the end of the day, it's all been mathematically worked out of how many points they need. And I think, I was working this out the other day, if Liverpool hadn't lost to Watford, the season would be already wrapped up and finished. Because you've got to think about it. They beat West Ham. And if they would have beat Watford, and then they would have beat Bournemouth, the season would be finished. So I think they've got to win like an one or two games now to finish off the season before they can actually be crowned champions. It's all mathematically done. No, you can't give Liverpool the title. It's all been mathematically worked out. Liverpool can't be champions. They'll have to wait a little bit longer. Will relegation and promotion happen this season? You've got to think about it. Are they resuming the season? They want to resume the season and the season is hopefully going to be back on our screens April the 30th. It will happen at the end of the day. The FA want the Premier League season to be finished and wraps up. Now that the Euro 2020 is being pushed back now to next year, they're hoping that they can get the Premier League season over the line and finished by June, hopefully. Hopefully, there'll be a relegation and promotion will happen this season. There's been rumours that they want a 22-team Premier League next year. But we'll have to keep our eye on that. Will the Champions League and Europa League be abandoned? Well, obviously, they've postponed games now for the Champions League and the Europa League. It's a yes or no answer. I think you've got to think about they're in the knockout stages now. This is the time now we're seeing the best teams put out some good performances. We know that Manchester United are already through to the quarterfinals already after smashing Lask 5-0 in the first leg. So we know Wardery know that we're into the quarterfinals anyway. Should it be abandoned? No. For me, no. You cannot abandon the Champions League and the Europa League. I think you've got to have the Champions League and the Europa League on it's always been a thing year by year. You have a Champions League winner, you have a Europa League winner as well. So for me, no, you cannot abandon the Champions League and the Europa League. It's always been the thing in the in the whole season. The Champions League happens and the Europa League happens and you always have one crowned winner. But the UEFA have come out with a statement though as well. They came out with a statement obviously last week and they said further decisions on when these matches take place will be communicated in due course as a consequence of the postponements. The UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League quarterfinal draws scheduled for the 20th of March have also been postponed. In the light of developments due to the spread of COVID-19 in Europe and related decisions made by the different government or UEFA club competitions matches scheduled next week are postponed. This includes the remaining of the UEFA Champions League round of 16 second leg matches scheduled the 17th and 18th of March 2020 all UEFA Europa League round of 16 second leg matches scheduled on the 19th of March 2020 will all UEFA Youth League quarterfinal matches scheduled on the 17th and 18th of March 2020 that's what they've pretty much come out and said at the end of the day that's what the UEFA have come out and said in there statement as well will the euro 2020 be abandoned now by the time you see this video the euro 2020 has already been abandoned till next year on sunday the 15th of march i know someone that works with a lot of quite of footballers make things happen about the euros get a lot of tv productions and stuff like that and works in, in that industry they said to me it was going to be getting postponed because obviously they had a meeting on tuesday two days later on the 17th of march they had the meeting and honestly it got postponed to next year really he said to me on sunday it's going to get postponed so i knew two days earlier that it's going to get postponed it's not going to be abandoned unfortunately it's not obviously going to happen this year which is a total shame we'll have to wait another year for that but obviously it's the right decision to be made due to the coronavirus outbreak which teams will qualify for the champions league and the europa league next year i'll tell you what there's so many teams that could qualify for the champions league and the europa league next year you've got to look at in the premier league the likes of sheffield are doing quite well wolves are up there again they're in the mix as well so there's some very good teams that could be in within a shout of getting european football next year and obviously Manchester United, Tottenham as well. And then obviously you've got to look in the top four as well. Obviously City can't qualify because of their ban. Top four, top five now for Champions League football. There's so many teams in the mix that could qualify for the Champions League and the Europa League next year. And obviously you've got to think about the Championship. West Brom are going to win the league. Leeds are going to get promoted as well. And then obviously you've got the playoffs as well. When will football be back on our screens? Last night on Thursday the 19th of March, the FA announced that the English football season will be suspended until at least April the 30th. 
unfortunately, but confirm that the 2019-20 the season will be no longer be required to finish before June and extended indefinitely. With the Premier League now suspended till April the 30th, what content do I have planned? Well, obviously I don't have much content being planned now out on the channel. Obviously I can't do any of the analysis now until further notice until the Premier League is going to be back. That's going to be the content that I want to stick to, obviously. I wish I could do FIFA content, but I just don't have the right equipment for that. Obviously, I can't really do football videos, challenges, really, because all the schools are pretty much um, closed. So that can't happen, unfortunately. But what I do have planned and what I want to do, and obviously it's been a very long time since I did a Q&A last time, which was last year. I want to bring back another Q&A. So hopefully that's going to open to you guys if you have any questions in mind. Please leave your questions in the comment section below. If you have any questions, get them in below. I'll definitely do a Q&A in the next couple of weeks. My conclusion now, all I just want to say is, is uh, we want the football back on our screens as soon as possible. All I just want to say is, is to my friends out there, my family, please stay safe out there. Obviously, we're in lockdown right now, pretty much in our homes, pretty much 24-7 now. There's about 3,269 cases in the UK right now, and it keeps growing and developing day by day. It's getting worse every day in the UK. There's currently about 144 deaths in the UK. To all my friends and family back in the UK, please stay safe. Please stay at home. This coronavirus is getting very serious. Everyone's placed in lockdown. All the schools have been closed as well. Unfortunately, all the schools are closed. So everyone that was doing your GCSEs as well, I'm sorry that you can't take your GCSEs this year as well. That will be definitely frustrating that you've been studying for them for the last few years as well. I do feel for you for that, but it's the right decision to be made. And obviously, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson said all schools were going to be closed. That's how things are going right now. And obviously, I'm in Southeast Asia and I'm in Malaysia right now. In Southeast Asia, Malaysia's got the highest cases with about 1,030 cases right now. And there's been about three deaths here in Malaysia. Just to everyone out there, I just want to have a little message and say, please stay safe, guys. Please stay at homes. We're in self-isolation right now for two weeks, hopefully. We're placed in lockdown. Many countries are placed in lockdown right now. But yeah, we just want our football back on our screens as soon as possible. Please stay safe. I hope you guys are enjoying another video. Please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'll see you guys in a video in the next couple of days. And peace.